it's at the new usage, but no, it's fine. Um, All right, try this again. Let's do the head of my video. Third time lucky, eh? Strange. The tablet doing it. Alright. Uh, delete hidden on all that. Um, any questions about my um, UI or the layout and that? Yeah, by all means, just ask in the in the chat if you feel it. Uh, let's hold on that one. And before that crashes again, we'll just give it a quick save. So, right. So, I want to. It's generally how I work when I build stuff. Um, I'll, I'll have the base mess and then I'll kind of build off it. So, Stormtrooper helmet. Build this out a bit. Okay, brush. See what I'm going to do is I'm going to inflate the whole object. Alright. And let's jump some stuff down here. I will try to answer questions as they come in, but how it goes. All right, so I'm just going to bring up my reference on this side. All right, yeah, I'm just going to get the forms and out of that helmet. Um, really kind of bogged out for, for that iconic design for the Stormtroop helmet. If you haven't seen the screen, see if anybody's having a, a yak on this side. We got anybody in here? Okay, somebody's having a look. Just get the shades going. I'm just going to start cutting in and getting some ideas of the forms and shapes. Come out. Definitely going to come out down. So, anybody's got any ideas or uh, any input or what they'd like to see? By all means, if you've got any questions about the tools or how things are done, need some tips and tricks and stuff that you use ZBrush, um, by all means, yeah, give us a yell. And um, I'll see if I can answer them as best I can. Um, if you're starting out with ZBrush or anything like that and you're just getting into it, um, there's a lot of really great channels and people who really kind of know their stuff on YouTube and that. Um, a few like to suggest is um, looking at guys like Michael Pavlovich, um, who is amazing. Uh, the guys at um, Pentium. That at Flip Normal, so if you can get a chance to look at that page, and it's got to like across the board for ZBrush and Blender and all that type of stuff. Right, so let's give that a bit of a. Oh, we're going to give that a Dynamesh again. All right. Okay. Yeah. Standard brush, and we'll do some cutting in just to get some. Marking out where stuff goes. Good thing with all the uh, the new Star Wars content coming out and um, 
Kenobi coming out very shortly, uh, well, next year. And they gave a bit of a sizzle reel at Disney Plus yesterday, and it was uh, it's pretty impressive look, and I can't wait. I mean, they released uh, the inputs that um, Hayden Christensen is coming back to play um, Anakin and Vader, and they're going to kind of face off again, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, So at this stage, um, it's really just, it's nothing pretty. It's just getting the forms and like you chop and, and rip stuff apart. And cut in and pull out and do what you need to do. And then what we'll do is we'll start um, tidying up all the forms and um, getting those hard surfaces looking how they should. <clears throat> so hot here right now. Uh, always save your work. You never know. Your brush can be finicky sometimes, and it'll um, crash on you. And I've gone through, and I don't like quick save because it, it, sometimes it, uh, it's I'll be doing something and like re reprojecting a mesh detail or doing a zero mesh to get a form going. And a quick save will come along, and when you post two things running at the same time, it does not like it. So. We may work on the head underneath. I mean, obviously, because it's um, it's going to be a medieval stormtrooper, not a you know. So, uh, but the general look of the armor will be different. So, uh, it's not going to be like the sunglass mirrored stuff. Yeah, I'll definitely be seeing his eyes, but I want to add that uh, kind of look that the old um, Justin Knights used to have. So there will be kind of slit holes in his eyes, um, which I think will look kind of cool. Uh, there was some concept art I saw a few years ago, uh, almost some concept art, just some fan art done, and somebody had done Vader as a knight or a samurai, I think it was, I can't remember, uh, but it looked really cool. How's everybody's day today? About the armor, we'll probably have a break. Here. Might actually um, bring this this piece of it over, so I'm doing a screen. So now we go back and forth and zoom in, zoom out. So I mean, that's this good old look. Got another. Right, 
see what the ones on top. Okay. So I think we've got some higher resolution here on the Dynamesh. I'll just put it in the gap. That curvature right down here is really cool, but it's just getting it right. There's um, a tiny little tone. It seems to come way up. coming in but not too much. So this flat. It's a very strange shape the old storm through helmet. Oh, I love it. Um, okay. Actually, so let's Got symmetry, you know, a bit of a move, I just want to oh, no. batten her up a bit. And we'll build her up a bit. So, especially around here, we've got these forms. So, it has to go all the way around. Although I do want to give the back of the helmet kind of like a, a bit of a, a flare out, um, like a lip. Uh, do that with all, all the armor on that one, kind of give it some, um, yeah, lift and some bend over edges, so they look a lot better. Uh, as a lot of people probably notice, this uh, the actual speed frame now compared to when you put time lapses on it is a lot different. Um, so, you know, some of those pieces that are uh, like time lapse, they can take 20 hours or so to do, and that's kind of really sped up really fast. Um, you don't have to sit there for 20 hours. Although some people will like it. Um, I've watched uh, time lapses and that online. So much fun. So. Yeah, it's a lot String is going, it's got excellent conditions, apparently. Yeah. Two lights up there. Just seeing how it's translating, if there's a bit of a, a lag. Only a couple of seconds, which is which isn't too bad. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Eyes down. Always going to get a little bit tricky on the eyes on these. Um, damn standard. Let's cut in around here. And go here. Just for the bottom part. <clears throat>
So we're just kind of getting, um, we're going to work on the rough kind of silhouette and that of the helmet and then um, we'll actually break it up into pieces. Just come out, move it. She's a scorcher today. Yeah, just come down. This guy's going to curl around. So, the top needs to be a little bit higher. Top of the helmet. Thousand easier ways to do this the way I'm doing it, but I kind of like rip getting in there. And taking my time. Hello, Dev. How you doing? Not so much as you like. Bit more of a storm trooper. Okay, let's have a look. The map is the mic not too it's not too loud on that end. Are you guys are getting a tiny bit of a delay between me speaking on my Mr. Heap, how are you? That's my eyes. So that's actually, we will build it separately. Out a bit, give it a bit more form. Nice, right. So, do nice pen. I'm actually going to use one nice sharp, which is nice and sharp. Okay. want this all to be able to come up over the top so I need to this lip here I need to extend it up so this whole thing lift up um, or depending on how we want to have a look I mean I could have it lifted up could have it down but we will see what we'll see so I'm going to the top This, and that's going to come all the way around. Let's give this a bit of a mask. So everything, if you've got familiar with this, everything with the mask here um, that is darker won't be affected. Or 
probably what I do. Move this in a touch. See? Now I'll move this out and up. Kind of like the two separate pieces. Probably from each other. And then we check the size on the, the guy, how it looks on his head. Yep. Also, in regards to the music, guys, uh, because of copyright issues and that, uh, you can only use specific ones like um, copyright free. So, this is from YouTube's audio library. It's kind of chill, but I can't really put any specific music on in the background. So, sorry for that. If I did, I would get in a lot of trouble, which has happened on a few of my videos that I've put up on my. And you've got to be really careful with it, too. If you're, if you're putting the, uh, stuff up, because even though some stuff might say copyright free, um, somebody else might have claimed it. So, safest bet, use YouTube library, because that's all um, credited. So. Right. Break these eyes off. Come out on some of an angle because it kind of uh, it makes into the actual helmet. What is just a tiny one? To extend that, I don't know, upper lip, is what I call it. Should have actually just done these as poly groups, but like I said, it's a rough block out at the moment. Just getting the ideas and the shapes and the forms. Um, and I can sit there for, I could sit here for hours just on this helmet just to get stuff kind of looking right. It's always, you know, as right as I think it should. Okay. Just kind of cut in a bit there. Get this. <clears throat> Comes close. But then it goes up. So, oh, it's got a lip now. Like he's sulking. Yeah. Stop. Sorting them off soon, breaking things off, breaking parts off. Um, just doing a rough kind of a rough look here. Yeah. So that's going to come here because obviously his head's got to fit in there. Where's his head sitting? Well, I don't have to do it. I mean, it depends on how I, I do the character um, with helmet down. I'll, I'll probably keep helmet down because that kind of sticks with the uh, aside from you know the, the Clone Wars and that for all the Star Wars geeks like me out there. Um, the original series, you aside from Luke and Han still in the uniform, you never see a stormtrooper's face. But you never take them off, so I might just keep that mystery going. Uh, sorry about the voice being a little bit hoarse. I um, had, a, had a few drinks last night and decided to reenact Jurassic Park, which was hilarious. So much fun. That's what happens when I'm not supervised. So, right. Let's step back from that.
going to be a new thing for me too, or like trying to keep this. Uh, they don't talk a lot. Um, you know, just I don't know, hit me up in the comments or something like that. Um, I don't usually. I'll just sit here and listen to music when I do this usually. So um, I don't generally talk to myself, uh, but sometimes I do. up again, a bit higher, Just get that shape going, Let that kind of warps down, that needs to come down a bit, that needs to go up, so I need to actually get this mask off, right, along there so just get all that up it's more of a peak actually so it's not oh, so at the beginning yeah I'll just use like the only tools I really use at the beginning stage like this will be the move brush the clay build up and so forth I could have box model this in modeler but I just I prefer to sculpt these to start out with and then get in and do retopology and work on everything so it's nice and crisp and clean edges and looks hard surface. Because like I said I want it I want it to look like um battered or hammered steel or iron, not like um, the original designs where they you know that very plasticky look. Um or whatever the material the stormtroopers helmets were made out of. Um, so that's been set a tiny bit too. This is a really hard form here because this goes over and under, so it needs to come up there and then go under it there, which is strange, but we'll get it. Um, I want to do the slots in the eyes, it'll be along here. But like I said, it's going to be kind of like cut out so you'll actually see the eyes behind it. Those shapes, and that needs to come down. Get the save. And get my trusty water. Because it's stinking on here. And the time being on movies. Okay. I'm going to put a bit more resolution into this now. Polish. Got a little bit of clay polish. There we go. It gives it a little bit more steepness to it. Okay. Just in. Right. Oh, this is very chill, this music. Just want to go to sleep in the sweater with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this this little middle part um if I build it out again later. Um so I'll get this bit of actually later it stops all of these forms in for the um So I can still kind of see them, so I don't think it's big enough at the moment, or they're not on an angle. Um, but, if 
watch every time we get there. Across and seems to be more rounded. Put some flat edges on there. I don't like. Right. Get the first part of the helmet. Second part. Let's just dig this out a bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they don't, they're not doing a lot of uh, freelance hiring. They get a lot of staff on on staff, so permanently work for whatever and so forth like that. Um, well, that's what I had last time I was speaking. And they've just sold their um, when a digital um, or the development team, so their, their software development for the programs they come up with, they've just sold it to an American company. So I'm not sure what what Peter's doing with it at the moment or what uh, Richard Tanner are doing, uh, especially in the effects side of stuff. But yeah, it'd be it'd be a great thing to. Um, to work for them, but I'm um, still recovering from my injuries on, on my arm. So, if a lot of people don't realize that, or people that know me, I'm actually left handed when I draw. So, I've had to teach myself to draw with my right hand and do this with my right hand because this one's still not working properly. So, in that, um, I'm definitely not up to snuff um, speed wise at the moment. Uh, I'm going really slow, and that's just because I don't know. Try and write your name with your non-dominant hand and see how you do. Um, so, but um, yeah, no, weather would be a great thing. Weird shape there, how it goes in and out. Just, uh, I'm going to bring the slip over a bit. Okay. Give this a bit of a polish. Um, I'll make the surface nice and even. Oh, maybe I'll give it a polish and a dye mesh. Yeah, there we go. Getting a little bit of hard surface there. Ah, uh, nothing to work from. Okay. So it's blocking out that helmet at the moment, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just jump in and start blocking out. Um, the forms. So we've got like the armor and how I want to do it. I mean, that's going to be a pretty simple one to get out there. Um, so we can just again, we can actually just build it off the original mesh here. So I'll just get my master pan or my sharp brush. Um, this custom brush, uh, if there's any Z brush users in the chat or watching, uh, it's, uh, it's just so it's really sharp. So I don't get that fall off when I use the pen pressure on the tablet. Um, that's really simple to make. Um, I think it's Pablo Nunez Gomez has uh, got a tutorial on, on his channel, so go and check that out. He's another great um, ZBrush artist and teacher. So I'm just going to. Right, so this is pretty much here. That's right, it's two separate pieces. So, yeah, so that one. I think the music's stopped, but I'm going to put it on there. 
project. So, yes, so what a thing with music where it doesn't let you carry on. Right, I'm gonna save it because the last time I duplicated this guy, this is when it just crashed and didn't like it. So I'll duplicate him again. Go to this one, get rid of it, Let's go to this one. And what I want to do is I want to put that in its own group. So switch it polyframe, control W. Well, do that. And then we're gonna mask it so I can get some cleaner lines when I do remesh it. Um, this is to get some really fast hard surface stuff going um, to work from. I could have just extracted it with extract down here and then kind of clean up the edges but I do I do tend to like doing it this way. So now we're going to do an edge loop mask border. It's a little loop around it and now if I go to V and we'll give it a polish by feature. Give it another one. Right. Okay. And delete what's not there that we don't need. We're going to remesh it. So I want to go half. Turn it up all the way down. Rip it off and go. Just remesh. And go again. 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 I just want to get it as low as possible at the moment. So at the moment it's 500 something. Yeah, there we go. So that's nice. Turn the polyframe back off. I was on the armor. I'll give it a bit of an inflate so it's off his chest. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And we can build it from there. So. Move. Just bring that in a bit. Oh. But as I said, it's just going to be slightly different from the armor, considering I'll give it that kind of medieval thing. Although, if you were a knight, um, all these open spots and that, these guys get stabbed busy. So, they should technically just use swords in Star Wars because, oh, everybody should use lightsaber because, as everybody knows, stormtroopers can't, sh stormtroopers can't shoot. Um, right, so. Give this a bit of a dynamic, and we'll give it some thickness. See what it's going to look like. Oh, that's too much. There we go. That's very nice, and we will. By that, which I don't have down the bottom, of something I thought I would have added. So let's go over here. Uh, where are we? Dynamic subdivisions. What we've done, thickness, and we'll just apply that to the mesh. <clears throat> now we've got a solid piece of geometry, it's got some nice clean edges. And now I'm going to mess it up. So I'm going to mesh it. And we just kind of want to. Um, well, just kind of want to um, get these peaks and that on the actual armor itself. Like I said, this is just kind of like blocking out face. So everything's going to look like crap for a while. Um, it's generally how it goes. Alright, so let's move this around a bit. So let's just come up a bit. Out. Down on them, like that. We'll add straps and so forth later. Just gonna hold down. Um, and instead of having like the clips on that they've got on this one, I'm gonna do them like leather straps, belt buckles, and so forth like that. The middle part, um, same kind of thing. It's gonna be all kind of belted on. I might actually make the um, the middle leather so he's got more movement, or he looks more like he's got more movement. Just kind of, you gotta think of. Well, it's just not making something, is it, is it functional? And um, is it going to work? So, I mean, you know, 
yeah, they can bend in that than those, but I don't know. I think it'll be, look better with kind of like a studded leather white. It's, it's all going to be kind of same colour scheme, white and black, um, with the gambeson underneath here, and some chainmail, which will be a dark grey. So it'll give it the white black, and the white will be paint over steel, so it'll be chips and flakes and look like crap, but we will see how it goes. Alright, so let's build out these. So come down across and up. After this right. <clears throat> move it. I'm gonna actually rotate this out a bit like that. Which is how it kind of looks. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard shape to get. But we will fix that soon. Oh, what have I done there? Okay, rotates. Bring up from that rotation point, which will be there. Pop that up a bit. Oh, draw. Oh, it's got posh, so that needs to blend right into the top there, as you can see. And then this is the part that needs to come right down. So it kind of goes on an angle. I'm not sure if there's a side reference of them. No, oh, it's not a huge angle down, but it's enough. Okay, we will. Yeah. Shapes up, blends down at the bottom. I mean, it looks blobby and yuck, but we'll get there. Um, whoa. Now, this is a problem here when the mesh is too thin, you start re meshing. We'll do it again. Keep Aussie, keep Aussie. And it's because I don't have back face masking on, so it's pulling all the polygons through, as you can see, there at the back. Now, it's something I always tend to not turn on because I'm an idiot. Um, and I've forgotten where I'm putting it. I think it's actually with the. Oh, there we go. All right. Right, so we need to inflate that a bit. I'll do that from the back. So, what happens is, yeah, if the polygons get too thin in that and you remesh. You get that crap coming through. Right, let's tidy this up. I've got some trim dynamic. I, should, I could actually just use the um, the new cut brushes or knife brushes to uh, cut shapes out, but I'm not 100% on them yet. Um, so, probably next time. Let's make a little peek in the middle. I comes up a bit more. Ah. Right, I'll give it a bit of a polish. Scroll over. Windows closed in here just for the lighting and so forth like that. Um, just so with that window there, it's um, all over the place. But as a result, it is stifling hot. There we go. Nice flat edge. Uh, B. Next one up. All right. 
So we'll see what he looks like on there. Get that armor up. Like I said, at the moment we're just kind of blocking out the forms and the shapes to give us something to work with, probably in the next session and that. Um, it depends on how it goes or if I get any responses and so forth like that. If I work on it in between, like during the week, um, I may actually just keep it as is, so I only do it on Sundays when I, when I do these live streams. Currently at the moment, I will be live streaming more. Uh, and um, making some changes to the, the content I'm putting up. I'm going to do a few more. We'll start adding voiceovers to some of the scobs. Um, do some, not so much time lapses, but um, kind of short tutorials and uh, even just yeah, walkthroughs of the things I'm making, just designing. I'm just kind of, because of my, with my accident and my arm, <laughs> um, I lost my portfolio. So I, because it was on my old computer and I didn't even think about it at the time, it wasn't too much pain. And I accidentally, because I was, you know, on painkillers at the time, I was having issues and didn't even think. And I reinstalled Windows, but didn't set a setting to retain all the files and folders. So I lost everything. And I should have backed it up. And trust me, if you, you think I don't back things up like every 10 minutes and that now, um, you'd be mistaken. So that was that was years and years and years worth of stuff um, that was just on digital. Um, so I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these things I'm trying to just get back up, like I said, using the right hand instead of my left um, to get up at that kind of level that I'm happy with in myself. And it can be done. Um, you know, four years ago, when it first happened, I was told I wasn't going to be able to draw again, especially with my, my left hand. And that's getting there. But um, as you can see, it still does stuff like this. So it's, uh, it's not fun. So having to learn how to do it the right hand involved a lot of patience and a lot of swearing. But you get there in the end. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I actually want to do that that middle section. I might do the, the groin pieces first. Figure out the armor. Shoulder plates. I'll do the backs. I'll do this one first. Throw in some placeholders for straps and so forth. And we will go from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick 10 minute break. Um, I just need to go outside and get some fresh air because it's so hot in here. Let's see if I can grab a fan. And then we will pick up. I mean, you know, an hour's work seems kind of, kind of slack. Just that. But uh, we'll get there. And we will pick up from where we left off, or we'll pick up in about 10 minutes, and we'll see if we can't kind of get a bit more done. I'll get the back piece done. I want to get the, the groin done. I'm leaving. I'm going to leave the legs and the arm plating to later, because um, it's really easy to kind of just mask out and extract. Uh, and then I want to get back onto the helmet and get that broken up. So hopefully we can do that in an hour. Um, and then go from there. Um, start to get an idea in my mind on how I want it to look in the final. So there'll be like kind of like a shoulder cape, like a real like um, very Knights Templar inspired, inspired. But I want him to look battered, like he's he's been through a bit. He's a, he's a kind of a veteran stormtrooper. So, you know, scuffed up and that. He's going to be dings and dents in him. Um, paint, well, when we get down to texturing and so forth, it, it does go that far. Uh, I want to have the paint all flecked off so you can see the steel, dull steel on that underneath. Um, I have the, the Imperial logo and that on his like uh, cloak and everything. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I'll have a quick break and we will be back shortly. So don't go away.
All right, here we go. Coming back. Um, get back to it. Right, so I was talking the cameras a little bit off, trying to cut my head off. So I'm just trying to adjust it. Maybe I need to zoom out a bit. I'll just pop her up a bit. How's that? See my mug better there? Right. Okay. So let's get on with this. Uh, where were we? We start working on the chest piece here. Um, and then we're going to block out the back and the midriff. Going to pull that over, do the groin area, which is two plates, I believe. It's two plates. Yep. Okay. I'll do the straps over the top. Okie dokie. So if you're if you're watching now and you're on there, uh, say hi. So, what about that? 
audio stream bit rate of 128. So okay, I'm getting a, a bit of a notice here. Let me just check something. Audio. Still kind of um really using OBS and so forth like that. But I'm just trying to see. The audio bit rate. Ah, there we go. Suggesting. I don't think I can change it at this stage. Um, I don't know where to change it. I'll have to check that later. <laughs> but it's been telling me so far that it's been good settings, but so if anybody um, out there knows how to change the, the, the audio bitrate, well, it's got one here for, but it won't let me change it. Um, da, da, da. Suggest, oh, well, I mean, if you can hear me, you can hear me, um, let me know. Audio stream current bitrate zero is lower than the recommended bitrate. We recommend using a stream bitrate of 128 kbps. Um, <laughs> I have no idea where to do that. Uh, audio. Desktop audio, mic audio, it's all in there. Uh, rate, monitoring. It's uh, strange it wasn't doing that before. Um, okay, anyway, I don't know. Um, if you're just still on and if there's any issues with the sound, let me know. So then I can kind of um, see what I need to do to fix it. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so back to this. And now let's mask out the back parts. Right, so it's quite high. And it needs to come down. Okay. And just bring that right in like that and then out. And down. It's actually higher, isn't it? It's quite high. It goes there, then down. Then straight across. All right. So let's give that a bit of a colouring. All right. It seems like the bit rate's fine now. It's in this excellent condition. Who knows what this thing's doing? Okay. And we want to duplicate them again. And we've got the top one. We'll get rid of it. Right. We'll Control W. Select that. Again, same thing. Um, we'll do an edge loop mask border. A bit of a V. Give it a bit of a polish by feature. Get that one. Delete what we don't need. And turn the polyframe back off, and then we want to go in and remesh it again. So we want half done with keep groups. We have symmetry on, and let's get on to that again. Right. Check the actual poly groups while I'm doing this, and again and again. What are we going to do about 1000? Okay, move that down a bit, move those out a bit. Okay, nice edge there, but it's just going to curve a bit, I think. So I'll have to put some creases into it. Okay, and same again, we want to go to dynamics. And we want to give it some thickness, but I'll do it from here because actually 
what I need to do is I need to go to preferences, I need to go to config, enable customize, and I want this button here. So we're going to put that there so I can apply it. Why did I do that? Delete our cell so dynamics on that. And then we want to give it some thickness. Bit more, bit more. Oh, too much. Okay, right. and we'll apply that. And then once again, we will dynamish it. So, we didn't mess around with it. Okay. And he's going to be sitting right down on the back, so we're going to have to move him out a bit. Because I forgot to inflate it. Right, just enlarge that a bit. Let's pull this out. So it's kind of often a touch. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do about that back panel. I'm not, probably not going to have the shapes in there, but I will have something sticking up. So let's just do that, shall we? And I'll grab the mask pen. It's just square. We'll probably model that out later. Let's go and move. And we will. Look at the center of the world. Oh. Bit of symmetry. Center it. Center gizmo. Let's move them out a bit. Scaling a bit. And we'll draw. We'll make sure we've got polish on a dynamish. We'll do that. Okay. Cool. Um, just the blocking out, blocking out, blocking out. So I will go through at some stage, probably after the streaming, I will actually name the subtools. I like to keep folders and that organized, so I'll break this down and put them all into a folder, which will be just for um, the armor. And we'll kind of split things off. Uh, the helmet will get its own folder because it'll all be separate pieces as well. And we can go from there. Um, then I'll end up in the next stream, possibly. We'll start remeshing. Or we'll do actually. I might do that. What well, we've got complete here, so it's not, it's not a, it's a boring process to watch. Um, where I'll go through and remesh it all, and then make another mesh from it, which has got clean enough topology, and then we can sculpt on it from there on what we want to do. Um, so it's a lot of hard surface. Uh, we'll get into things like micro mesh and that for the chainmail and everything. So cool. <laughs> right, let's do. A crutch, <laughs> and we'll use my mark sharp, mark sharp again. Oop. I'll go back to the dude. Oh, it's gonna be annoying. I think it just sits under. Um, I have to go up like that. I know it goes into the belt. I'm not sure how it's you know, gonna get irritating, I think. Oh, I might actually do an extract on this one. Hey, way too big. Yeah, we'll do that. That's not quick up. I'm going to get rid of that one. Come back to this. Oh, where are we on the polyphone? Am I actually... Just want the front, I think. Is that what we want there? Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll dynamish it. Nice. Right. <clears throat> off solo, see where he's sitting. A bit of a move around. Break it off again. 
Um, I didn't like how it was kind of bowing out with the legs um, and giving it that kind of lip. It's kind of irritating. All right, so I'll turn the polyphone off and then I'll put the resolution up a bit. Or you mesh it. Let mesh it with a polish on it. Nice. Uh, I might actually use a knife brush on this one because okay, I'm going away. No. Shift control. There we go. And the wrong buttons. So I'm just going to clip that off there. That's nice. And we'll build a bit off the top like that. Nice and flat. Okay. Now let's. Need a bit more resolution. Yep. And then we'll just mask that off. Solo. I can mask it off. Actually, I might leave it as is. Um, and we'll just mask brush again here. It's awesome for armor. This. Um, it's such a, a versatile thing. The previous brushes that used to have this capability would kind of push the, the, the mesh in but now it gives you a nice even uh kind of topology around it instead of um triangulating stuff we're just pushing it back on itself which is so cool uh we no group at all absolutely right now the butt flap uh awesome and then i think we'll do this the same way we will mask her out Small brush. Touch over the sides. Yeah, it's high though. Might just be the form of my actual base mesh here. We'll bring that down. Yeah. And we can chop that later. Doesn't have to be on an angle. Kind of like that. Alrighty. <clears throat> All right. Hey mate, how you doing? Um, you can't like my work, you haven't seen Star Wars. Well not enough of it. <laughs> uh so we'll do another extract on that one. And we'll accept them. Let's go from here. Get that mask off. Then for this one, we will dynamesh it again. Polish. Put the resolution up a bit. Yeah. Ooh, quite dense. Awesome. Ah, uh, let's solo it out. Bro, you can use some music after me if I want to play it again. No. Yes, I do wish to continue with the music. Give this a cut again. My mm. brush. Cut that off there. I do want to kind of bring that down a bit. Uh, remove. Bring that center down. And we can do a bit of a polish. All right. Nice. There we go. And what's the polish looking like? Yeah, we'll just group it all as one. Ah, the polish frame off. Alrighty. What have we got? Fourteen playbacks. That's pretty cool. 
no idea how this works. Like I said, it's the first stream, so we're going to get there. Now, about that midriff, I still want to do it as leather. Um, I don't know. Or I might just have this chain on. But I want that white look. Um, I still want, like I said, I want to keep that kind of the, the overall aesthetic and the iconography of the actual stormtrooper. So you can notice it. I'm just wondering if changing a tiny little thing. Just thinking of a movement. Um, hot day, guys. Keep hydrated. Um, and while I do appreciate people um, coming to the stream and having a look at that, what are you doing with this beautiful weather? You should be outside. Righty eh? Yeah. I might. I have an idea. Might have a hint of white on it, and it's kind of like a framer, a leather framer for a chainmail. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look. That needs to come down. Actually, it's quite high because it comes up here as well. And then we're going to have it just here. I could do that actually as a gambus and cloak that comes down like an undershirt. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, Sorry, him off. I want to bring that up a bit. So it tucks under his armor. I'll bring that up. Okay. That can tuck under the belt. Is there anything I can actually do? Yeah. All right. I think. I think. I have a decent idea for this now on what I want to do. Um, like I said, I just came in with the idea that um, it was sci-fi and I wanted to do a variation of a Stormtrooper. And that's kind of all the plan I went with. I mean, I started doing some concept art, um, which we could bring up, but it, it was just really rough kind of thumbnail sketching. And I kind of threw it away because I just wanted to go with the flow in this stream and just see how it goes. I mean, I've got, like I said, I've got the general idea. That's how my mind works. It kind of gets stuck in there. But um, I like the flexibility of being able to kind of change stuff on the fly. Uh, accept that. Nice. And, and that's what I love about ZBrush. It's um, it's so versatile for just um, concepting or getting ideas out and getting them to 3D real quick. And then you, you pull around and push the polygons to, to your heart's content until you've got something you like. Um, you're not kind of constrained. Like in our old days and what, with modelers, um, like Meyer and so forth, like that, you get through all this work and then couldn't really go back on your decisions um, without a lot of work involved. Uh, ZBrush is great for just quick ideas. Yeah, I could just I could duplicate them off and do variations of how I want the armor to look, um, variations of wear and tear, and it's just a matter of getting that that base kind of sorted. And then a lot of it you can do with the texturing. So let's try to mesh it. We'll try to mesh it a bit higher, and we'll put a polish on it. A bit higher. There we go. And let's move that old cod piece out of it. Butt flat. Let's move that out a bit and up. All right. But how I want to do this is I'm still not sure because those these straight plates make no sense to me uh, for being able to, to bend at your um at your waist and your, I'm not even at your waist at your stomach. Um, they should be across this way and it should be like partition plates or something like that to help you move. So I think that's why. Stormtroopers can shift crap <laughs> it's because of that. Then we're going to have a belt that goes around, kind of holds these into place. But at the moment, let's give it a save. Start saving off ideations or variations of it uh, a little bit further down the track. 
we, we can go from there. So we take that out and we've got kind of like the, the base of the armor there. Just thinking about the straps and that to keep all these on. So these will have a strap over the top here, but these are just fly around. So I might do a, a big buckle down the back with leather strappings that kind of wrap around it. Um, we will see. Uh, I should have actually instigated uh, pen tip so I could draw on the screen for you guys just to show what I'm doing. But we'll see what happens. Um, and we can go from there. Right. How's that? That one on my system. GPU's pretty high. Cool tips are not too bad. Okay. Um, so if you've got any questions about ZBrush or just like, you know, design in general or how about a go at uh, please hit me up, ask me. I've said in the chat, um, if you're not subscribed, I mean, I'd really appreciate it if you did. If you want to come back and see more, you don't have to. If it does, if it's not interesting to you, but it'd be awesome. Um, hit the like button and leave some comments. Uh, tell me what you want to see. Uh, or where you want it to go. Even if you've got ideas for this character, you know, shout them out and tell me what you think. And we could probably play around with it and see what happens. Um, right, so go back to the helmet for a bit. Yeah, bring this down. Now, I had an idea when I was doing one of the sketches on how I wanted to do it, but I'm going to have to, what I'll do is duplicate the helmet off. I'm going to. that Whoop. and how else do we want to do it let's go to the solo oh. all right let's give this a bit of a cut I do have no ah no. All right, so we'll use a knife, but we will use where are we? Knife lasso this time. Just a bit of a nice chuck down here. Get rid of that. Nice. And we can just give that a bit of a bit of a dynamish. Ooh. Nice. Oh. Okay. Start breaking parts off on the helmet, which is kind of what I want to do now. And I break this front. Well, not break it, but I just want to separate them so I can start doing them. So obviously, this is all going to be one piece. The eyes will be a piece. So. Just go back to normal masking. Right, so I get these out. But that splits off. Uh, And let's go to our polyframe and we will put that and we will do this and we'll go through the whole process again. And we want to exit nice water. That's it, look at it. Alright, and then we uh W Oh, I polish by features. So also, I want to do a polish by group. Um, do I have that? And I haven't added it. That's right. We will go over here. Information, polish by groups. And then on a bit. That's a bit better. 
and that gives us nice clean topology there. Right, B, and then we want to delete the hidden and go through the whole process again. So we want to remesh it. Oops, got about half. So use your remesher again, half again, half again, half again. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm just going to use move topological on this one. I'm going to use AccuCurve, but I'll just do it this way because I just want to bring that up a bit. Bring this one up a bit. Alrighty. Now I'll go over solo. And we'll go back to the helmets. That's looking nice. Solo. Give it a bit of dynamic. A bit of thickness. A bit more thickness on this one, I think. Oh, a bit too much. That should do. Oh, well, oh I almost made it. Fly. Dynamic it there. All right, so we want to keep that lip out of it, but also, and it's, it's kind of, yeah, like I said, it's a really weird shape, um, kind of on an angle there, but that's easy enough to do. So, so again, I'll grab the back, I'll mask that off. Front and remove that up a bit. Or I'll just use the trim dynamic just to give it that bevel. Oh, there's a new bevel brushes which I haven't really played with, but it's going to give it an even bevel across the whole line. So we'll see how it goes. Um, it could be okay. Who knows? All right, polyframe, we'll polish it. Okay, save. Looking for more time. Okay. That's all good for about half an hour. Have a drink. So I guess I want to break off this whole piece here. So if I get the helmet off again. And I want to go here. Take the eyes away. Knock that back a bit. We just want to get this whole front piece as kind of just one single plate, and then we can oh, cut stuff out of it. Nice and smooth. A bit. Yeah. Okie dokie. Really okie dokie. Huh. Control W. Control W. And we'll 
Ještě to nejde žvajit. Ještě to máš půra. Dým. Polish by groups. Polish by features. Tři. Cleaner. And we will split it in. We're not going through the whole process again. Right, and same again, just repetitive. Zero mesh half. No. Go down again. Go down again. We'll go down another one. Yeah, it's alright. Okay. Now we want to do dynamics, give it a bit of thickness. That's what I want. Oh. Could probably use the model for this, but. A bit more thickness. We'll try that one. I want to bring it in on the main helmet that we sculpted or the block out just so it kind of matches up right pull this down yeah so it's hanging over a bit Off. Bring it out a bit. Up. Yeah, I want to make those <clears throat> edges a little bit tighter. So we'll just bring the brush down a bit. And where have I put a key curve? I'm always moving stuff around in my layout. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. So it's going to give us a bit of a sharper movement. All right, and let's give this a bit of a dynamish and we will polish it. Take off that big helmet. Now I Cut the top, yeah, so it's all even. Nice. Alrighty. Um, if I do go quiet and I'm not talking enough, and you guys get bored, tell me to talk because um, I kind of get into a zone and forget. Because, <laughs> like I said before, I'm not usually speaking when I'm doing stuff like this. Um, kind of in my own world coming up you know figuring out how i want it to work or what i want it to look like and i kind of zone out quite easily um I heard my brother in the past when i was living with him um come and drag me out of my office or my room or whatever because i've just been going hard out for like 10 hours not even realizing it um i don't know how many of you kind of feel that way when it comes to just art in general and that if it's if it's really a passion in that uh, you got to pull yourself away from it from time to time, or else um, you miss out on other things. And as much as you love it, it's it's great. But and I do love um, what I do with a passion. So, All right, let's give it a save. Okay. Right, come on. Still got him. Trying to pull it that with the, the front gear. Yeah. Okay. 
aquí, aquí. So what we might do with the um the chainmail is going to be really easy. Although it's going to get it's going to be poking through um certain parts. I mean, I'll give I'll give you an example of how we're going to do it. Uh, it's a real cheap, quick, easy way because this model is not for uh, animation, so I don't really need to worry about topology. Um, well, sorry, not topology. Yeah, I don't really need to look at it like animation topology. Um, down the line, I might. Actually, I do want to 3D print it, uh, depending on how it comes out. So who knows if these streams keep going and people keep watching and that and there's a with my subscribers or people who subscribe, I'll, um, I'll print it off and send it to one lucky person and they can have it. Um, of course, I might co copy, copy for myself. So what we're going to do for chainmail and stuff like that. So let's go to this guy. We will figure out. So we'll just go say it's like a chain mile shirt. All right. Generally, knights and that will have it. Um, and the hood and so forth, which I will be putting on because it will go underneath the, the helmet. But if we do this, um, and it's the same process as usual with the, the remeshing. So we're going. So we'll go control W with that one. We will do that. Delete the hidden. Oh, and then we'll get the kniff. Now I just want to cut that so it's nice and even. Why is that not doing that now? There we go. Um, go. Delete it again. And then, so again, we'll go keep groups, one and a half. And how many? 79,000. So, right, let's go. Should knock that back pretty quick. And we just want to get all the, the quads, all the little squares here, even. So, we'll go half again. We'll go half again. Oh, and now it's getting a bit messed up. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Okay. It's kind of mucked itself up a good bit, but we can fix this. Go in here, space bar, we want to stitch. Those two, control Z. Turn off the now. <laughs> that one to that one. Oop. That was it. We want to go from here to there. All right. And then I want to go from here to here. And then I want to know, well, weld it because it looks rubbish. We'll get rid of that. Selection. And we will delete it in. Okay. I'll move that a bit. Right, so I want to go the same now. And I want to put on symmetry. I'm going to zero remesh it again because the topology looks rubbish. Um, I want to move that though. So brush, move. Move that up a bit. Part. Oh, someone's in the shed. Um, I might split this actually because we're just doing an example here, so I don't need the back. Is that all nice? And nope. And this part here. And what else we got? Go delete the hidden. Okay, so we want to go to dynamic, and then over here in the dynamic menu, 
we want to turn micro poly on. And I've got a chainmail one here. And I want to align it. Scale. Whoa, wait a bit. Anyway, just so it fits it. <clears throat> See how it goes. Uh, I'll turn the polyframe off. And that looks kind of crap at the moment. <laughs> so, I want to give it some smooth subdivs. See what it's going to look like. You're going to get this. You're going to get these little chainmail loops. And we're going to have that under the armor so it's sticking out. Um, let's change it to chain link like that. Old school chainmail. Line. Kind of cool, but I want to get it kind of fit. Yeah, I want to rotate it, rotate it, rotate it just till it kind of fits. And then you can apply it as some mesh in that. But we take it up solo and we're going to have that under the armor sitting under there so it'll come out and it'll be kind of over the top to the sleeve here. And then you'll have the gambus and whatnot over it. Um, but lots of ideas come for it um and then you know if we if we like that we can i mean currently that's only 295 points it's tiny but if we apply that that goes up to almost a million polygons but you can sculpt on it if you wanted to it's got that stretching so i'd have to oh, i'll have to remesh the entire thing if i'm going to do it so it's all even because it's reliant on the squares of its apology uh or the quads that are there so uh if they're stretched you're going to get a stretching effect and so forth and then we can add other things like dynamics and that to it to make it uh, flow and kind of droop like uh, chainmail would. Um, so we'll get rid of that. Don't need that at the moment. Uh, save that. Right. So. Just turn it over here for a second. See what's going on. Okay. How long we got? Ten minutes. So, what do you think? What can we get done in ten minutes? You think? Let's have a look. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to lay out for the straps and so forth for these on how I want them. Because yeah, like I said, I just want them to be um like buckles so i'm gonna have like a buckle hook and stuff there i'm not sure about with the imperial symbol i might emboss it in his armor um we'll see how it goes like i said i want to give him kind of like the teutonic or um knight's templar kind of look so he's going to have i mean yeah this cod piece is here but it's, it's going to be covered kind of by like those flying that flying drapery uh build him a shield whatnot so if we append Let's paint the cube. And we'll frame that. And we'll do give it. And we'll get rid of that. Leave it in. Remove. And we'll move that out. A great new toy that we can use uh, after I've gotten this into place. All right, so let's two mesh this up a bit. We will make it. Oh. <clears throat> no, it's a little bit. I think she's still a bit wide. No. I just want to get the general placement of these at the moment. Right. So stage R. So we're going to put that there. And we're going to go home stage. All right. Then we're going to move it. This is great if we need to just do some kind of detailing work. Because working on things in um, symmetry is a lot easier. Um, right. So. There, why not? 
down a bit. I want to rotate it. I'll rotate it that way. I want to rotate it that way. And that way. And that's the target stage. Right, so we can switch stage, go back, and we can work on it. And we can go from here. What I want to do is I want to make it a dynamesh. And we'll go off. And we'll put a bit more resolution on it. Okay, let's go back to switch stage. It's still dynamesh. It is brilliant. So now we can move it around a bit. So it fits. So get this in here where it's coming down. Like I said, I want it to be like a belt. I'm just going to buckle that around a bit. Um, it's going to come down here, loops and so forth, kind of holding it on. See how that goes as well. And like I said, these are just um, placeholders at the moment. So I'm just getting ideas on what I want to do. All right. Not right now. All right, let's switch stage again. Go back here. All right. Measure up a bit. Oh, that's getting rough, but you get the idea. We can work back and forth. Um, or a flader around the edges. And this is generally the process I'll go through. Um, I might over the week before the next um, stream next week is I might actually go and just build out the pieces. I'm not going to refine them. I'll just build them out like we've been doing um, and get the helmet cut into shape so we can kind of start working on how we want to do it or how I want to do it with the actual design itself. So, and pull that back again. We'll go to the next day. Oh. No, watched it. That's the one. Radio. And I'm going to turn those off. Don't need them now. Put those down. Uh, probably just want to mirror it. There we go. Give her a save. Yes, we do. Uh, let's look at this on. Yeah. About five minutes. We could start building out a space. Um, I don't know who I'm going to base them on. Uh, if we do, because like I said, I still want, because we're going to have um, slits or so forth in the, in the actual visor. So they will be there. Actually, I'll see where it's transparent. And um, I want to see if our eyes, is our eyes are matching up to where it is. So yeah, it's still. Not really, so we need to actually move the helmet down quite a bit uh, or stretch it. Because where are his eyes? His eyes are there. They need to be here. Um, but we can fix all those later. And let's go back to there. Yeah. Just transparency and go slow. Right, so we've got that one. We've got that one the base to work from as well as when we were extracting parts from so i'll do that again i mean this is going to have to we go to the eyes oh sorry the eyes there we go yeah so his eyes are too low so i'm going to need to bring them up we'll bring the helmet down which means i'm going to have to make more space in the top um so it fits them I should have noticed by the, the concept art and that the, the kind of the helmet's almost touching the chest. Um, even in the movies, they're quite big. So you'll start getting bulked out when we get shoulder pads and so forth on them. You start getting the armor 
and we'll stop them uh, fabric folds and so forth with the gambeson and then yeah it should be a fun project um so i mean not a huge amount of um things to go for don't really have any viewers sitting here today so what i'm going to do is i might wrap this up um if you showed up that uh, awesome thank you so much um hopefully you enjoyed what i what i was doing um if you, like i said if you've got any ideas um just leave a, a comment in the video um come back and rewatch it um like subscribe all that jazz i don't know how to ask people to do that um anyway so i will pop off we will be at the same time next week um as i work on some things and then stick around you know have, um have a look at my channel we'll, there'll be uh, another video coming up like i said either today or tomorrow uh, and that'll be on a creature design i was doing during the week just playing around with them so i see the kind of compositing still and that's about it um thanks so much guys it was great fun and i really enjoyed it see you later